Hey there guys, TC Babe with TC Gaming. Wanted to bring you a real quick video. We've been doing a lot of uh, Cinti Polygon retargeting and discussions about how to use those assets with different projects. And one of the things that keeps popping up um, is the need for a rig to be able to do the retargeting. And I do have one out on my drive. I have a project that has all the rig files in it and everything. But what I just recently did is I converted that over to a plugin for you. And I'm going to see if I can get in touch with the, um, the Cinti group to see if I can actually upload that to the marketplace as a free plugin that you could download from there but in the meantime while i get all that worked out i've uh, placed that out on my google drive so if you go out to i'm gonna have a link in the in the video here but if you go out to my google drive i have a unreal training downloads folder here where you'll come in and you just want to go into animation plugins and i have a dot rar version and a dot zip version here for you you can download whichever one you want to as far as what extractor you use when you download those files, um, basically you're going to have the zip file, you know, of course on your machine, mine look like this. So I have UE5 CintiRigs.RAR CintiRigs.ZIP. If you pop one of these open, let me show you what's in here. There's a, uh, a content folder for Cinti that has all the assets in here for you. And there's also a, uh, I don't think there's anything in this except for just the icon and the new plugin that gets created whenever you make a uh, plugin package. Now, you can use this in one of two different ways or either way that suits your needs. If I create a brand new project, what we can do is uh, we'll go in here and we'll create a third person project to add this to. So I would go to games, third person, uh, specify a default directory. I'll just call it my project four for this. Once uh, this gets opened up, one of the ways that you could use this is you could actually create a plugins folder inside of this project and uh, just extract the contents there. So if I right click on content in here, I can go show and explore. This takes me out to wherever the project lives. I can go up one directory, right click on here and say new folder and put a, a folder called plugins here. And then what I like to do is I like to take into that uh, spot there and just grab the directory for it. I'm just copying that you can right click and copy and then what I'm going to do is close this project. I would then take whatever version of this package I wanted to use to extract it. I would right click on the folder and say extract to a specified folder and I can just replace that path with the one that we had a second ago. So now in this case D my project for plugins and hit OK. And what that should do is it should dump that into that file folder for us. So if I go back over here to where we're at in this project, I can go up and we look in here, you can see UE5 Cinti Rigs content resources all came into that project. I can also from this project here, go back and launch this again. And now that that plugin is localized in that plugins folder, what you should have when you log in, if you, if you look at your um, folder under settings here, you go and show engine content and show plugin content. You should see a plugins folder has now popped in. And if you go in here, you'll have the UE5 Cinti Rigs content and Cinti, and you'll have all these different assets. The ABP Cinti, if you open it up, is already connected to the retarget pose from Mesh for the IK retargeter for Cinti. That is uh, already pointing to the IK rig for Cinti with a preview mesh on it. Now these are overlaid here in this version. Um, just so I can see that they were lining up in a certain way. All you have to do to fix that is you go over here and you just specify how much space you want to put in the X direction. And you can set them next to each other so that as you do animations on the characters, uh, that it would go ahead to show you, you know, how both of these run. All right, so I grabbed a T-pose by accident there, but grab a, there's a jump, you know, or whatever. You'll see that they, they work the same way. All right, and uh, you just spread those apart that way. But that rig also has um, your IK rig for Cinti with all your bone mappings and everything in here, all pre-specified. You have your physics asset defined. You have your mesh and your skeleton and everything, or your skeleton, and then here's your mesh here. So all that stuff's already in there, and it all works. Um, should be easy to use now. That's one way that you could do this. And then, you know, of course you can make copies of these or derivatives of them or whatever and put them up in your actual project from that plugins folder. Uh, I think the probably the easiest way to do that would be if you highlight these and you right click on it and go to asset actions and then migrate these um, 
and then you don't need to do all the game stuff, but you want to do the stuff that's in your down here in this plugins folder. UE5 Synthi rigs, you would want to specify that. And as far as the location to migrate it to, you could do it right into your content directory under you know whatever folder you wanted to in here. So if I came in here, for example, and said new folder and just called this Synthi uh you know retarget or something and give it a different name and if i do that inside of the same project uh oh it has to be in a content folder so actually let's go back lied to you it'll still create the folder but it won't create the actual content in it so asset actions uh migrate disconnect these come down here and leave that alone migrate this out to the content folder and like that that'll put them in so then there would be a Cinti folder just like you had down here in plugins uh this one of course is empty and be able to be deleted but the Cinti one up here is now inside of your project and it should still have all the right pointers in it so even if i were to go out now to this other thing here let's say we went back out and said show this in explorer and we go out close the project and go into the plugins folder and we get rid of that plugin I'm in my project for plugins if we got rid of that plugin from there it's still in the content folder under Cinti so when we open this up there would still be localized content in there so you can move a plugin to a local directory so that you don't actually make changes to it but this plugin is project specific, so the changes you make are in that project. You probably want to keep them there anyway. I'm just showing you that you can do this, and it'll still retain all the proper mappings and everything to keep everything together. So that's one way that you could use it. Um, another way that you could use it, I'm going to go out here to this folder again, just using the same project. I'll say uh, Show and Explorer, and I'm going to go to the. Uh, I'm going to close the project before we delete that. I'll right click right here and say Delete to get rid of that. And if I were to go back in and open that project again, you'll see now that there is no Cinti folder in here. So what we can do is we can actually install this plugin to the engine level plugins. So you see it's going there. We can actually install this to the engine level plugins so that it's available to all the projects that we work on in case we have multiple projects we want to use those same resources on. And in order to do that, what you would do is you would go to wherever you downloaded that. Again, I have um, mine are over here in the local C disk. So what I would do is I would extract those out like I did here to Cinti Rigs. Just simply copy this, go into your install. So in UE 5.4, for example, go to engine, go down to plugins. And I usually just put my plugins under marketplace. I would go in here, right click and paste that folder in. And now when we go and we open up our project, let's go back out to where I had that project was it was called my project four we open this up again our, pl our plugins out here are empty right but when we go out here to this new project we're going to see a little thing pop up say new plugins are available so if you go to edit plugins you go up here and search for ue5 and it'll pop up the ue5 Cinti rigs you can turn that on restart your project And again, now when it comes in, if you have your show engine content and show plugins enabled, if you go down here to engine plugins, you scroll down to the use, you'll see that you have the UE5 Cinti rig content here. And again, all perfectly usable and all pre mapped. Now, if you're working that, again, the, your, any changes you make to these are going to be, um, you know, engine level. So. Either way you want to work with it, I just thought it might be easier for you guys as opposed to having to constantly download that other project, open it up, extract the contents, or migrate them to another project, and then, you know, back and forth, blah, 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 blah. You just download it one time, install it as, a, as an engine plugin, and use it everywhere, or extract it to the local version of your project and local plugins so you can make changes for that specific project. Hopefully this helps somebody. Again, my name's TC Mabe. I'll be working on trying to get that as a uh, an asset that's actually available again on the marketplace so we can keep it uh, in one spot and refresh for everybody. But in the meantime, the path will be available in the content link on this, um, on this video in the description. You guys have a great day, uh, and I'll see you in a future video. Take care.